Hi guys, so previously I did a video explaining the different color mutations behind chinchillas, but I didn't go into detail explaining how genetics can influence it. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to go into detail about why chinchillas appear the color they are. If you don't know what the different chinchilla colors look like, I suggest you go watch that now, because I show you most of the possible colors. Now most breeders have to know this information when they are choosing which chinchillas to mate. This way they can predict what color the offspring will likely to be. So if you're interested in this kind of stuff, then stick along. If you have taken biology in school, you might remember that humans have 46 chromosomes that make up the DNA and proteins. And the whole genetic code DNA is represented by these chromosomes. But chinchillas have 64 chromosomes, so the baby chinchilla will inherit 32 chromosomes from the mother and 32 chromosomes from the father. And this makes up 32 chromosome pairs with one chromosome from the mother and one from the father. Now we are going to focus on one of the pairs of the chromosomes, the hair colour gene. This specific area of the gene can be called the locus and can be found in a specific area of the gene. In our case, it is where we see the areas that code for hair colour. So each parent contributes an allele, which is a variant of a gene. The allele is a form of the gene and in our case, it is the hair colour. And alleles can be the same form of the gene or different forms of the gene. The alleles are typically represented by letters. Let's use the letter capital A and lowercase a. And there is a difference between the big A and the little a. So together the two alleles the baby chinchilla inherits determines the hair colour. Now before things become even more complicated, let's jump into a simple example. Say there are two parent chinchillas, but one is violet and one is beige. The beige parent has the genotype big A and little a, and the violet parent has the genotype small a and small a. I'm just going to say big A equals beige colour and little a equals violet colour. If I use a capital letter to represent an allele, it means it's a dominant allele. In our case, the beige colour is going to be the dominant allele. This just means if you have the dominant allele in the genotype, doesn't matter if it is just represented in one allele or both alleles, you will inherit the trait since it is dominant. And it will be expressed, meaning it is a colour that you will see. As you can see in our example, the beige parent is big A little a and is going to appear beige. Although it still carries a violet gene, it is just hidden away. If I use a lowercase letter to represent an allele, it means it is a recessive allele, which are typically not expressed, unless there is no dominant allele present. So for this example, the only way for the violet parent to appear violet is if it's carrying both little a's, which it does. Remember that you have two allele copies, so the combinations you could have are big A, big A, big A, little a, or little a, little a. These are the genotypes and your genetic makeup. Genotypes can help determine a phenotype, which is a physical characteristic, one that your eyes can see. So if it was big A, big A, the colour is going to be beige. If it's big A, little a, the colour is still going to be beige. But if it's little a and little a, the colour is going to be violet. So as you can see, big A, big A and big A, little a would both mean beige chinchilla. It only takes one dominant allele to determine the colour. But say if the parents were both beige but the heterozygous version, big A, little a and big A, little a, it would be possible for the offspring to be violet. In fact, there would be a 25% chance that would happen. In other words, two beige chinchillas can produce a violet baby. However, if one parent was big A, little a and the other parent was big A, big a, that would be not possible for the offspring to appear violet in colour. This is because the baby gets one allele from each parent, but since one parent only carries the dominant version, so the baby will also inherit that dominant version and will appear beige in colour. Now that's just one example with two different colours I made up. There are obviously so many different colours that chinchillas can be. So there are dominant and recessive colours. The dominant gene colours are white, beige, standard grey and ebony. And recessive chinchilla colours are sapphire, violet, charcoal and velvet. Of course it is possible to have incomplete mutation, but that's a topic for another day. So yeah, now you know why chinchillas appear the way they are. And you also know how to predict what the colour the baby will be based on the parent colours. If you have any questions about any concepts, let me know in the comments. I will respond to them. 
And I guess that will be all for this week's video. Let me know in the comments if this was interesting for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!